World War II Medal of Honor recipient Mike Colalilo was not a born soldier as a youngster. I was drafted, yeah. I drafted him when I turned 18 years old. An infantryman in the 100th Division, Colalilo wasn't a hero in his first action. I was scared. I didn't know what to do until you, you calm down a little bit and, and say, well, they're going to shoot at me and I'm going to shoot back at them. From there, Kalalilo would go on to earn a silver star cleaning out several German machine gun nests and taking several prisoners. The Medal of Honor would come in April 1945 in a battered German town. We were all pinned down and we didn't know what to do because if anybody that got up got shot. American tanks come up behind us and and I got up behind the tank and hollered to the boys to come on up until my gun got shot off in my hand. And so I jumped on the tank and I, I used a machine gun on a tank and then when I got the ammunition ran out on that machine gun, I got a Thompson sub from the captain and, or the commander in the tank there and, and I jumped off and started firing some more and carried a, another man back on a, was wounded there. Kalalilo was then pulled from the front line and sent home to personally receive the medal from President Harry S. Truman. Mike Kalalilo would go on to also meet President Kennedy while working for veterans' rights. Mike passed away in December 2011. There are several tributes to the hero around Duluth. Uh, he's got a street named after him and a statue at the, at the city hall and, um, and uh, obviously this exhibit right here because of his Medal of Honor. There is also a Mike Kalalilo scholarship. The deadline for this year's is October 19th. It's aimed at reminding young people what their elders have done to keep the world safe from fascism. We pay tribute to veterans, hopefully, to remind ourselves of the sacrifice necessary in order to maintain a free nation. Holding on to history in Duluth, Dave Anderson, Northern News Now. The Mike Colalilo Scholarship is open to high school seniors and college students with a connection to St. Louis County. The deadline for this year's award is October 19th. Information can be found on our website or in person at Veterans Memorial Hall in Duluth.